everyone, it is time for my January favorites and I didn't do December favorites because I did my 2013 favorites all together and I just thought it would be too many favorites so I skipped that month. This month it's going to be some stuff from December, mainly from January, but there aren't that many things. I really narrowed it down because I didn't want to talk about too many products in this video. I just really chose my favorite, favorite products. <laughs> Let's start off with foundation and my favorite for the last couple months has been the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I finally decided to get this and I do have oily skin so it works out really well. It's a very mattifying foundation so if you have dry skin, stay away from this product. It does not break me out which I'm so happy about. That was really the reason why I stayed away from it for so long. But I finally just did it and I'm so happy that I did. I have a video of me reviewing this more in depth and applying it and I will leave that in the description box if you want to check that out. My next favorite is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles and this is an amazing under eye concealer. I already have this in the brightener shade but I wanted to get it in the light shade and I picked it up and I love this. This is the perfect shade for me. I put it underneath my eyes as well as down my nose and a little bit on my chin and I love it. It's so creamy but it lasts all day. The coverage is really good. The next product is a powder and it's one I just recently did a first impression on and it's the Benefit Professional Agent Zero Shine. If you want to see the in-depth review on this or the first impression, I will leave it in the description box. It does not break me out, FYI, it still has not broken me out, and I just love this. Next is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. This is one that so many people have been talking about because it's supposed to be gorgeous, it's supposed to really transform the way that your skin looks with makeup and um, can I just say I am in love with this? I don't know what it is about this that I love so much because as a lot of people say when you first apply this, you can't tell that you applied it. it it's really hard to explain, but I wear this all over my face on top of the Agent Zero Shine Powder or any mattifying powder that I have. My skin looks better on camera when I wear this. You may not agree with me or you may not notice, but I notice because I am my biggest critic and I just notice stuff like that. I love putting this over my mattifying powders and it just looks amazing. The next thing is the Mary Luminizer from The Balm. I finally got this as well. I didn't go on Hot Look for a long time, but I finally did and The Balm was having a sale. And this was only, I think, $10, but it's a lot more than that usually. This product is fantastic as a highlight. I'm actually not wearing it right now, I just realized that. That sucks. It gives you a really nice glow. It is very, very pigmented. The next thing is also from The Balm, and this is, this is funny because I wasn't supposed to get this. By the way, this is the Hot Mama Blush. When Outlook had that sale with The Balm, I wanted the Mary Luminizer Highlighter and the, what is it called? The Nude Tude Palette is the one that I wanted because that was on sale and it was only like $10. So I ordered those things and inside was this. It's not even close. It's not like they gave me a different palette, they gave me a completely different product. So I called them and they couldn't, you know, give me the actual product that I wanted and they just said, oh, but you can keep the blush. I was like, okay, well, you know, I got a blush that I wasn't going to try before. I should try it out because I love blush. Guess what? It is in my favorites video because I love it. It is this peachy, golden delight. It kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm, but better, more pigmented. I don't know. I'm very happy about this. And in the end, I got this for free because they reimbursed me for the money that I spent on the Nude Tooth Palette. So in the end, it was a win-win. I'm over that palette. I've actually heard that I don't need it in my life, whatever. This is a palette that I used a lot in the month of January, and it is the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. 
I was on the fence about this one as well. I didn't get it for a while at first. I got some kind of coupon from Sephora. So I did not pay full price for this, which was amazing. I only got it for, I think, $35, and it's really like $52. This isn't the most high quality Urban Decay palette out there. I have the original palette, and I also have the Vice 2 palette. And this one is not as buttery and amazing as those two. But something about this, I've been using it in the month of January so much. Really happy I got this, and it's rose gold. It's my favorite. Finally talking about this lipstick that I apparently was like grabbing from the beginning of this video. I wanted to talk about it that much. It's the Maybelline Nude Lust Lipstick from the Buffs line. It's their new nude line of lipsticks, which I think is awesome. And this is the one that I thought would look good on me. I really didn't like any others for myself. So this is the only one I got and I love it. I'm wearing it right now. I have one skincare item to talk about and it is the Carez Greek Yogurt Advanced Nourishing Sleeping Facial. Recently my skin has started to feel dehydrated, I guess because it's the winter. And I also figured I should probably start moisturizing my skin a lot better and that's probably why my skin is so oily because I'm not you know, putting enough moisture on my skin or into my skin. So I got this. Miss Glamorazzi was using it in her get unready with me type of video and she has oily skin as well. So I figured, oh, maybe I can try that. And then I looked up the reviews online and it has rave reviews. So I got this at Sephora and I love it. It feels so nice on the skin. It doesn't feel too thick, it does not break me out. And my skin just feels really moisturized and amazing all throughout the night. And then when I wake up in the morning, my skin looks really plump and healthy. And I just love this. An amazing moisturizer for my hair has been the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. So up until the last few days, I had an ombre going on in my hair. And recently I did dye it back to my natural color. But before that, when I had the ombre and I wanted to really revamp my hair and make it look amazing, I decided to get this. And it is pretty expensive. It's like, what, $32 or something like that. But it is worth it. So I go back and forth between using that and my favorite bed head conditioner, the Urban Antidotes Level 2. I use that for one shampoo and then... I will use dry shampoo for a couple days or three days and then the next time I shampoo I will use this conditioner. So I use it just once a week and my hair feels really nice. I love it. It's worth the money like everyone else has been saying and I'm glad that I finally got it. And those were my favorites for the month of January and I guess December as well because I didn't do a December video uh, on its own. But I really tried to condense this as much as possible. I did not want to talk about everything that I loved. I really picked the ones that I love out of the ones that I love. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you all really soon in my next video. Bye!